Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting here having my coffee with all of you. I've already done chores. I didn't need to water any plants because it it rained all day yesterday. So everything is still pretty wet. So I didn't check on the plants. We'll do that in a minute. But before I do that, I have to have some breakfast because I got a lot to do today. Got me a nice breakfast going. Add some potatoes, green peppers, red peppers, orange peppers, and onions, and a fresh egg. Yep, that's all I'm eating. I'll save the rest of the potato pepper mix and throw it in a dish later on today. All right, let's have a look at my garden. I've got corn. 
You see? Oh, shoot. I'm going to break this. I don't care. One there. One there. Oh, my gosh. I've got three coming up here. Let's see. One, two, three. I've got three coming up over there. I can't reach over to point at them, but they're there. Trust me, they're there. Oh my gosh. I've got two coming up over there. Hard to see. I've got one coming up. I'm trying to reach as far as I can. One over there. There's, there's two. There's two coming up here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The corn is growing. Oh yeah, you can see it better over here. See that right there? There's one coming up there. I'm not going to stick my fingers all the way through. One coming up there. There's two. There's two. There's one and two. Um, yep. There's at least one coming up. <laughs> like right there. Can you see it? <laughs> oh my gosh. i got to get in here and get these little seed thingies out. Like that little thing. There's one, two, coming up there. One, two, coming up there. One, two, coming up there. There's at least one over there. How's this one doing? I'll be shocked if this one is putting out any. It is. There's one, two, one, two. There's at least one over there. A one, a two over here. Oh my gosh, the corn has started coming up. This is so wonderful. I didn't think it would happen this soon, but it is. It is happening. I literally can't believe it. I am. I'm just so stoked, you guys. I can't believe the corn is coming up already. So I think I need to let it wait. Um, I read like either knee high or at least six inches high before I plant the beans and when the beans get about six inches high then I plant the squash so yes I've gathered some rotten wood from my wood pile out by the street and I've gathered up some of the soil to, that is like underneath of it this stuff is all really rotten really rich there's plenty of stuff that's growing in and around where I got this so I'm going to use that to kind of well, hopefully create some soil that I can grow in. I've dreaded doing this, but I know it's a mess in here. Where are these bunnies? Hi, bunnies. No, you can't get, get in there. I got you blocked out. So I got to see if I can pull this tray out and clean this. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Uh, that went a little too far. What I want to do first is rehabilitate this soil there's some decent soil up top, but underneath there's clay. So I'm going to try and rough it all up and then add this stuff in, break it up, mix it all together, and then bring in the rabbit droppings. This stuff is just so soft. Some of it's a little bit firmer. <clears throat> but it's, it's basically like soil right now. So I'm just going to get in there and kind of toss things around and mix it up and then come back and do the second layer of rabbit poop embedding. That's all mixed up, and it is really, really wet, heavy soil. So, this is just one wagon full. Um, there is a lot of rabbit droppings in there, and this is probably only a third of what's still left in there. But I think this is all I need for this area. Just a couple shovels full, and then what I'm going to do is just toss this around and work it all together. I don't know how much of this I'm going to use, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll be able to have some good soil here eventually. Um, and then I will probably end up putting some of it over here too. Well, I've got that all added and pretty well mixed up. And I added some over here and I threw some back in here too because this, both of these areas were, were filled with garden soil and the puppies dug it all out. So I don't know. I don't know if this will work or not, but uh, I'm just going to leave it be. Um, over here, I do want to plant something in it eventually, but I think I need to let it sit for a few days and just see, you know, how the soil mixes. I'll get in here and toss it around every once in a while, um, because I don't know if I can actually grow anything from seed in there. 
don't know. A little bit of that in here with this tomato too. I haven't really dug it into the soil yet, but I can. Since I emptied this big tub out, it's got holes on the bottom. Pretty big ones and some of the stuff could get through. So I just lined the bottom of it with some old bark. And now it's time to get, oh my gosh, that's so disgusting. I can't believe it. Yeah, I need to do this a little bit more regularly, but there's lots of good fertilizer in there. Look at all of that free fertilizer. Oh my gosh, there's a ton of it. There is an absolute ton of it. That looks much better. I didn't put as much bedding in it this time because I'm going to be cleaning it out more often. And I put some more up there. So I think the bunnies will be happy. Come on in. They're like, ooh, it's clean in here. I'll put some pellets in there for them. All right, just keep pooping for me. They're getting big, you guys. You know what's interesting? In this part where they spend most of the day, they do not poop. It, I mean, if they did poop, it would not be able to fit through the screen that's on the floor because the it's too small. Um, I really just wanted them up off the ground. And it's been working great because their little feet stay dry and they can't dig, but they don't poop out here at all. It's kind of chilly. I can't believe it. I got my sweater on. But I'm really, really pleased with my garden. I, I cannot believe the corn is coming up, but it is. So, yeah, I'm going to wait until it gets higher, do the beans, then the squash. And uh, the one little tomato plant that has the, it's a cherry tomato plant that has the blooms on it. I'm likely to pull those off because I want the plant to grow bigger before it starts fruiting. So, I don't know, I'm going to have to think about that. But I'm just excited. Anyhow, um, I think I'm going to go make me some beef stew or something with the leftover of that onions and potatoes and pepper stuff and uh, just warm up a little bit and enjoy the rest of my day. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.